Gurindi Beach is located on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. It's 33 kilometres north of Coffs Harbour and 50 kilometres south of Brafton. Just talking about how good the water looks and um, certainly we'll do some fishing. There's some really, really good rock crops out here and outbreaks and lots of gutters. So uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a go tomorrow. Well, hopefully you'll catch dinner. Oh, no, bear doing his best. <laughs> That's how we'll go, see what happens. So I'm just going to check on Mark. He's off fishing. So I've got some washing to bring in, then I'm down there and hopefully he's caught, well, not dinner tonight, we've got a scrumptious dinner duck with some great uh, veggies and potatoes and oh, so good for dinner tonight, I just can't wait. Um, but hopefully fish will be tomorrow night, so I'll go and check on him and see how he's going. Well, I found him. It's a little on the chilly side, but wow. Look how high the tide is this afternoon. Oh, he's pulling on something. Oh my goodness, wouldn't that be exciting if you got a big fish? Mm. What is it? What is it? Oh no, you lost it! Oh! <laughs> Did you? What'd you get? Well, it looked like it was a big one. Oh, it did. Here we go. We have done some duck today in the crock pot um, mm. with some veggies to make it into like a little bit of a casserole. Mm. Um, when I strain it off, we will put some plum sauce on the duck and it will be beautiful. Really can't wait. <laughs> you saw the preparation this morning. Now you're seeing the end result. Yummo. Yes and it got really cold this afternoon so it'll really warm the insides it's great well from crock pot to bowl yummo yummo can't wait hopefully the duck will just fall apart oh, you take that. your first mouthful i'll watch for the expression mm. good mm, my turn mm. Mm. Well, coming up for a bit of a glimpse of the beach at Karuni Beach, Caravan Park. Um, swell was building yesterday. Yeah, but still a few waves around. It's so swell out there today. <laughs> yes, my missus is swell. <laughs> but she's a fun stuff. Well, can't send her out for a surf report because I don't know what she'd come back with. So I'm going to come over here and have a look for myself. We were a few good left-handers breaking here yesterday. We have a set breaking out the back here now. Sort of crosswind, it's not real strong, which is nice. It was blowing a gale yesterday. You couldn't have got out there if you wanted to. So just coming out, to will give you a bit of a map over here, just to give you a bit of a look-see. This has certainly been one of my favorite parts of the coast for many years um, as a youngster. Uh, all the way from Crescent Head, which is down near Kempsey, probably all the way up here to Red Rock, which is you know probably about 45, 50 minutes north of Cos. But they're just location after location after location of great beaches, great surf, good fishing. And again, just right out in front, you'll just see the surf here today. I said it's a good size, probably a good five foot on the set. But some cracking left-handers breaking. Uh, even with a slide onshore on them. Um, so that's been pretty good. 
we're going on to Karingi Beach itself. Um, this goes all the way back to Wulgulga. So probably about oh, no, seven or eight k's of beach here in both directions, all that red rock. Probably could be 12 or 13 k's. So um, we're gonna walk down here onto the beach and uh, just get our feet in the water and sand between our toes and uh, just check the place out. Yes, I'm gonna zoom in. So Jeanette's saying there's some fruit and these pandanus trees. This one's got some really big fruit on it. You can see up there amongst the branches. Jeanette's getting a bit busy and creative here. Just gonna flip the camera around. You can see her at work. Keep saying she's our little marketing guru. We're just driving through Reflections Holiday Park at Red Rock and we're just trying to weave our way through to show you some of the sights of Red Rock and apparently there's supposed to be a really nice walking trail. So let's see if we can find it. Here we are just driving down through to Little Beach and we've just gone through the Caravan Park, Reflections Caravan Park. Beautiful, beautiful drive, lovely day. What I love about our adventure is every single day there's something new to see. It's just gorgeous. You can definitely see why this area is known as Red Rock. And it's funny, the water's got a distinctive discoloration. But I found a few of the local guys hiding away behind these cliffs which is always a good indication that there's fish about. And there's four or five guys down here. Lake on the other side with a small brim just landed. I'm not sure you can see that. About the size of the one I got on the beach at Karindi yesterday. I'm not sure if Jeanette's posted the video yet, but I had a really big fish on and got snapped off, which was a real shame. It was giving me a bit of stick. I was only fishing with about nine pound nine though, so that was to be expected. The rocks are all shades of reds and purples and dark chocolate browns and even the outcrop heading out to the headland like volcanic red rock there's a little man here and he's lost his arm oh. <laughs> yeah, this is like a teddy bear with a broken arm let that. me zoom in So we're on the trail to the Red Rock. That's where we're camping, way down the other end of the beach here. That's where our caravan is. So we've come up to Red Rock today and we're right at the point. And here is the Red Rock on the point. We're gonna climb up to the top of the headland and look down on it and give you another view. Whoa, is Yeah. <laughs> the old stairs are in a bit of disrepair here. But it's all uphill, it's quite a climb. It's a good test of our aerobic stamina again. It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are on top of the cliff at Red Rock. This is a, uh, a monument in respect to uh, a survey point. And if we had to go due north, 
and put my hand straight out in front and that would be heading north. We're just walking over to the edge now, you see Jeanette down in front of me. And we'll be able to um, pan down right on top of Red Rock. I'm sure this rock outcrop's been battered over the years, gouges out of it and colourings from the, the impact of the ocean and the wind. I think my wife just goes into these little bursts of, I'm not sure what to call it. <laughs> but she's having fun. She's loving the sun. 